joined by 2024 tight end Jonathan Eccles. Jonathan, you, you picked Tennessee on this Independence Day. Just kind of take me through the decision. You visit Tennessee for a couple of days right there at the end of June. What led to this decision? Uh, just love the culture, love everything about it. Uh, being able to be one of the top tight ends in the country, just to be able to play under there, Coach Goldish. You know, him being the tight end coach and offensive coordinator is a big deal to me. Take me through that relationship. What do you like about Coach Goldish? Uh, he's a great man. Uh, he's going he's the offensive coordinator and tight end coach, like I said uh, earlier. So he's going to make sure I get the ball, be able to touch the ball, like in the play, um, being able to like just be there with him, just to see how, t- what type of person he was. I loved everything about it. That was, that was my next question. What do you like about his personality? Uh, he's a great man. Uh, Great coach as well. Just being able to be coached by him, like then throughout the camp, I could tell like he's a great man, he's a great, a great coach as well. Telling me like what to do, coach me to get, coaching me to get better. All right. So some people have you pegged for defensive end. You want to play tight end? Was that a big, you know, a big part of the the reason for you know picking Tennessee is that they see you as a, a key part of their offense going forward? Yes, sir. Most definitely. What do you feel like you bring to the table at tight end? Uh. Being able to run around like a receiver and also get in there and be able to block, uh, I think I have the best hands in the country. How, how much do you work on that? Um, you know, just whether it be route running or getting on the jokes machine and, and catching balls, how, how much do you really focus on, you know, trying to perfect your craft in that regard? Uh, I mostly just try to get work on the top of my routes and um, my stance and start because I know being able to do it, those are too many things that uh, I need to uh, work on to get better as, as a receiver standpoint. All right, so everybody's going to say he committed really early. Is he going to start looking around, taking visits, all that stuff? How, how, how would you answer that question? I mean, what do you foresee? I mean, it, it you know, I'm sure right now you feel like you're done, but, I mean, schools aren't going to stop calling that you're, you know, top 100 top talent. So how, how will you approach the recruiting process going forward? I already talked to the coaching staff. They were like, they, they're okay with me taking other visits or whatever. Just at least I know where home is. So, it's not my home. How's the family feeling with this decision this early? Uh, they, were, they were okay with whatever I was okay with. So, like, they support me 100%. Now, Aaron Beasley went to your high school. Now, you're not IMG, but y'all, you started out of Heard County down in Georgia. Yeah. Um, how much did you know Aaron growing up? How much, you know, have you gotten to know Aaron, you know, now that, you know, you know, you, you kind of have committed to Tennessee. And, I mean, I know he was talking to your camp up there uh, at the end of the month. Uh, so, I've known Aaron pretty much since my seventh grade year. Uh, being able to be around him, uh, going through the pro- him going through the same process uh, with the coaching staff change, uh, talking to me about that, talking to me about the new coaching staff, how they are. Uh, it played a big part in, uh, in that decision. Well, congratulations, my man. We appreciate the time, and uh, good luck this fall, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you.